everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you some book inspired room decor ideas and um, I'm really happy with how they turned out. I love books so I thought why not decorate with some and so I hope you guys like the ideas and if you would like to see them then just stay tuned. For the candles we're going to start by getting a glass container and then hot gluing the wicks to the bottom and I'm using three wicks for this bowl. Next, I'm just taking a candle that I already had and I'm just breaking it up and I'm going to melt it. And I use about 30 second intervals in the microwave until it's completely melted. And when it is, I add some coloring with a crayon and I'm using just this blue green crayon. And mix it in until it's completely melted. And when it's completely combined, you can add your fragrance. So what I used was balsam fir oil and spearmint because I wanted it to represent what Hermione smells in the cauldron. And so it represents the fresh cut grass and the spearmint toothpaste. And I just had balsam fir for the grass, but you can totally find whatever scent you want. And you wanna add quite a bit of scent for this to be able to smell this after it's all set up. I didn't add enough, but definitely add more. and then mix that up. And then you're gonna carefully pour it into your container. Now the wax I melted wasn't quite enough, so I went ahead and melted some more and just did the same steps and just layered it on top. But that's it for that candle. And you can add a label to this. I tried, but it didn't turn out good, so I took it off. So next I'm doing a Sherlock Holmes inspired candle. So I melted some red candles and then I added blue to make it a purple color. And I'm adding frankincense and lavender. And then I emptied this used tea bag and I let the loose tea dry out. So then go ahead and pour your hot wax into your container. And while the wax is still hot and liquidy, you're going to sprinkle the loose tea on top. This way it'll stick. And then I just use my spoon to kind of even it out and then just let it set up and you're finished with that one and then I went back to my other one and I wanted to add something to the top of it so I just used some sugar to kind of make it look like a galaxy um, it didn't work that well but it's okay and then you can light them and enjoy them next for the library card notepad you're going to print out a bunch of these, which I will leave a link in the description box of the website I used. And I printed out five pages, but you can print out as many as you want and just carefully cut them all out. And stack them up evenly. Make sure they're all touching the top. And then using binder clips, just clip them together. And then taking some Mod Podge, I just use a brush and brush it onto the top. And you want it to be a nice, pretty thick layer. And try to keep it just on the top, but if you go over on the edges, that's okay. And let that dry completely, and you have yourself a notepad. For the banner, go to Google Images and just look up your favorite books and find the cover that you like and copy the image and paste it into Word.
and then adjust the size. I made mine approximately the same size, but sometimes they're not, can't be exactly equal. And then just print and carefully cut them all out. And if you have cardstock, that's great, but if you don't, then I'm going to show you how to make them a little stiffer. So after I cut them all out, I had some cardboard from a cereal box and I'm just tracing around each cover. And then I'll just cut out the rectangle. And then you're going to want to see how your cover fits on there and it's probably going to be a little small so just keep trimming the edges of your cardboard. And then I used tape and you can use double sided tape but I just used regular and I rolled it up and covered the cardboard. I didn't want to use glue because I didn't want to wrinkle the cover. and then carefully place your cover on the cardboard. And repeat this for all of them. And then lay them out how you want them and roll out a piece of string that's long enough. And here I'm just taping the string to the back of each cover. And once you've done that, you're complete with your banner. I'm really happy with how this turned out. I think it looks really good hanging over my bed. All right, and the last project is going to be these little labels for your bookshelf. And I just cut out out of some leftover cardboard. These shapes, they're like rectangles with little notches at the corners. And I'm just painting it gold. And I had to use several layers because the gold paint I have is pretty sheer. And then just let them dry completely and you can write the different genres on them. So I wrote fiction and nonfiction. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up down below. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe to me if you want to see more. And if you have any requests, comments, questions, anything like that, just go ahead and let me know down below or um, on any of my social media sites, which are listed in the description box. I did want to let you know that um, next week's video won't be up on Friday as usual. It will be up on Sunday, and it is a collaboration, and so I'm very excited about it, but I just wanted you to know about the schedule change. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Bye!